Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the previous episode, we got a new friend in the tenants for the apartments for Dumb Wool, and we have um, done two levels, Rainbow Falls and Flower Garden. And Flower Fields, never mind. I'm a fraud in this game. Anyway, Big Bean Vine is a new level we unlocked, so let's just stop fucking around and just play the, the damn game. Um... So welcome to Big, Be uh, Big Bean uh, Valley. Now we're going to be introduced to Archer Waddle Dees. The uh, whole point of Archer Waddle Dees is that they shoot an arrow. You can actually grab the arrows for a continuous source of arrows. Arrow wolves, as I like to call them. It's just that simple. Grab the entire bow and arrow. And you're gonna grab the, uh, yeah, grab the entire bow and arrow, and you're just gonna take the bow and arrow from it and still turn it into an arrow one. But grab an arrow, and the bow will still stay, but you're gonna get an unlimited, an, an unlimited source of, uh, stuff. Anyway. As you saw before in the previous episode, when I try to give you the music, and uh, this episode now. Every time you get hit, you lose a bit of your beats. Call it like Sonic. So if you lose a bunch of beats, that's not bad. But in general, it's not a good idea to lose the beats you have. There is another way to lose beats in this, but that, re that requires me to legitimately jump off a cliff. Anyway, we got the Latisse. This, I don't even know how you say that. Latisse, Lattice? I see Latisse. This Latisse is covered in sweet pea vines. It's like a little screen. Anyway, you just keep going on, climbing up the vine. And now this uh, spawner is actually going to spawn a new type of Waddle Dee in this. Balloon Waddle Dees. And now we see another person. I might have to put their name on screen because I, I said I do not remember all the Kirby names by heart. I probably should. But, uh, this is going to be its own thing. Anyway, now we have the CD now. These levels are not going to be, in, or the collectibles for these are not going to be in order from, like, furniture, furniture, and CD. God, I'm not expecting me to grab a five-star. Anyway, the whole point of these balloon waddle days is that they have balloons that go up that slowly decrease when you jump on them. They cannot hold much more weight than they should. It's that simple. They will pop after a while, and they also do pop when they're near the top of the, uh, I would like to say Blast Zone. I'm a Smash fan. But they will pop after they pass this part of the, of the level. What? Well, I'm not getting that Crystal Star back. That sucks. But, uh, beat the silkworm and just continue on the level. Man, I'm getting hit a lot. That's not good. Anyway, now we're in the background. Uh, and if anything, I feel like I don't know if this game came out before or after Little Big Planet, probably after. But this gives me a lot of Little Big Planet vibes, and I do love that game because it's a fun, like, multiplayer experience. It was a really fun game to play with friends. I would recommend it if you have like an old PS3 and you can buy the fucking game. I would recommend it. It's a good like, oh, let's say party game. <laughs> it's a good like platformer, good game in general. Would highly recommend it. It's also really customizable. God, stop hitting shit. Stop running into people. This ain't a Walmart. You're not supposed to run into people. Anyway. We're going up. Get the five-star patch we needed. You can actually get it from this Waddle D. There you go. You can also get it from that area right there. But it's much funnier to grab it from, like, the uh, Waddle Ds. But after getting the Cloud Pillow, we have gotten every single treasure in this area. And with that, we are at the end of the level. Now, this is going to be the make or break moment that I have to legitimately time. 
I am not getting that. Nope. We still got the gold rank, so... We still got the gold rank, but I really wanted to get that five star. Anyway. I think two star is like 50%. Like three star is more like 70%. 70 to 75%. And the three or the five star patch is um 95 to 99%. It's not a complete level up, but it's near there. We have gotten the watering can patch. Well, let's just water this, this beanstalk we're on. So, now the bean is getting its much needed water break. It's gonna grow more into the boss of this stage. Fangora. So, how much do you guys love your Kirby bosses? Bangora. Now, in these levels, the boss levels, I'm going to be going for the platinum rank that people are going to dub this as. So, as you can see, Bangora is a giant ass dragon. We're going to be fighting a dragon. Anyway, it's just a simple boss fight. Bangora will like shoot its arrow tongue at you and we could just like latch onto it, but I'm not gonna do that. As you can see, there are four ranks in this. There's the normal three, and then there's the uh, platinum rank, as I like to call it. The platinum rank is basically an extra bead. Uh, if we get that bead, it will unlock an extra stage for flower fields. Every single boss has this. So it's a good idea to uh, do that. Anyway, after the first hit, Fangora will go into the background and then under, he will fly from underneath. The yarn at the bottom will tell you where he's go where he's coming from. Call it like a little mist or a smog. Pretty good idea. Anyway, after the first hit, Fangora will now shoot fireballs at you. Hit him with a fireball and you will get some uh some needed beads. Which is really good for the thing. Now after that he will shoot his arrow tongue twice, making us have to dodge twice, and we just smack him again. Now, we are at three star, but we are gonna need that platinum rank. Every boss in Kirby's Epic Garden takes three hits to defeat. And a nice little detail about it is that you can actually see his uh, yarn becoming more and more weathered, more torn, more used, which is a really nice touch. It goes from like, it's more vibrant color and it's more vibrant shit to, uh, well, being worn and torn. Whack him one more time, and we got the platinum rank. Avoid his arrow tongue again. This is the third time, and then we just come over and smack him and smack him silly. With Angora done, we have beaten Grasslands. Now with the uh, magic yarn acquired, let's just have a little cutscene. Show us what's up. Nice. Noise. You got Fangora's music, and we also got the platinum rank of the mole patch. We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was growling, so he went searching for food. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Kirby thought it was an earthquake until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. This is how we get food in patch land. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could, which wasn't very long at all. Look at all that, Fluff cried.
Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. He chased him for so darn long that he forgot all about being hungry. Man, I wish I can be like Kirby and just like chase someone for a while just to forget that I'm hungry. But after chasing someone, you're going to get more hungrier. So Hotland has now been unlocked. But as you saw, we got another patch. We got another badge, as I call it. So let's see what the mole patch will do. <laughs> so, welcome to the mole hole. Another level has been unlocked for us. So, let's just have some fun. Every boss level will have that. Every boss level has a platinum rank that you have to do so you can just get more levels. Anyway, another Mega More text, and we're gonna turn it into Mole Kirby. Press one to like dig through any of the uh. Any of the cotton. And this level is kind of uh, annoying. You can dig around as much as you want, but the uh, stuff here is gonna be a, uh, an absolute ass to a, f they're gonna be ass a nine. A but they're gonna be like more of an ass to deal with because like you need to figure out where each of the uh, stuff is. And now we got like a candlemancer. Or candlemancer? I don't think that's the name. It's like a. Basically, it's like a salamander. And you actually can't get crushed by these things, which is not fun at all. But they do make stairs. For nothing. So, yeah. A bunch of these like treasures are gonna be hidden around in like small little areas that we have to literally dig for. And you're not gonna know which one they are until it's too late. So, as you can see. There's our first treasure. Can you find where to go? I have not played this game in a while, so I probably should. I should, uh, like, practice a bit more. Anyway, claw up the little crystal and just have some fun. As you can see, probably going through this little area, we are probably going to get the first treasure of Mohole. And this music playing in the background for Moho is actually a really good song. It's one of my favorites. I probably will let you guys listen to it for a bit after explaining what the character is. It's full of vitamins, but it might just turn your clothes orange. Song. Uh, basically, now that you saw that uh, area, that just has like it's basically like a quicksand trap. As you can see, each of the uh, yarn is being stitched and unstitched at the same time, which is pretty funny. Pretty cool, too. Well, up this little crystal to get another crystal star for our next level up. Now, time for the fun part. Uh, where the hell am I supposed to go? Like, I know where the exit of the level is, but like, in general, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go for the, uh... For the treasure. Because, uh... I'm gonna have... If I miss one, I'm probably gonna have to cut to show where it is. Oh, hey, fuck that I said this entire level is just the Mega Mortex for the mole ability. I don't think we actually get the mole ability until later in the in, later in the game. Oops. So much for collecting all those beads then. Anyway. Let's have some fun. Dig around the, the dirt. If you dig around too much, you're actually gonna lose a a bit of the thing you wanted. Anyway. Crystal star, go back into our rank. 
claw off this uh, crystal monument to get another crystal star. And let's just keep going around. All right, claw up that. Oh, I think I know this one. Oof, this is gonna be a hard one. Yep, yeah, no, I, I, I have uh, royally screwed myself from getting that one. Yeah, because it's only like one ahead, which just sucks. Well, we're not getting that. I, I think that's where actually one of the treasures is. Which is great. Anyway, uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the mole hill because like mole hole because like this is a big level with like nothing to do. Anyway, there's our next treasure right there. Tree stump bed. Squirrels and lumberjacks can relax here peacefully, just not at the same time. Uh, if you know one particular squirrel, she would have a field day with this. But uh, her answer for everything, for her favorite, uh, for her favorite time in the, or her favorite season, would be D's, and she would probably say the Japanese word for. Uh, for summer, Natsu. She probably will pick uh, D Natsu. Spot the joke, won a prize. Uh, anyway, would you guys actually like, if you were forced to be like, if you were Kirby in this situation and like all the like the yarn stuff and the cosmetic stuff like did not bother you, would you just dig around in this area forever? Because after a while, the, the cotton's supposed to like uh, simulate uh, dirt, like being uh, broken and all that. Which is good. But like after a while, you probably will like just get to the point, not a black lung, but like in a way of just being covered in so much dirt that uh, you cannot like see or speak or oh god. Damn, I can't make it up. Fuck. I don't think we got the CD. Yeah, we did not get the CD. Great. Time for some editing. Hooray. Let's just beat this level. And I will probably cut up to the part where we get the CD. And I think I know where that CD might be. But hey. Let's just beat the level and unlock the next one coming up. Good old five star. Anyway. Can you guess what the next patch is gonna be? God, that sucks. The first cut of the game to figure out where that CD is. Anyway, we got the firecracker patch. Oh, Kirby, it's over. Come, come over to play. Oh, this room is so fun. Anyway, oh, we got the firecracker one. I think you may know where this is going. But, uh, let's have some fun. Good morning. Anyway, weird woods. So, let us just go back into Mole Hill, find the CD, and we're gonna end the episode off. So, let's time. <laughs> After we jump into this metamortex, we are gonna cut the video. Let's do this! Yeah!
Well, found a CD. <laughs> yeah, I was in that one area I, I fucked up in. Oh my god, I knew my luck. Anyway, hopefully uh, you guys have been enjoying like the little scraps of like what I've been putting from this level. I barely spoke when I was doing this level again, but I probably should be, or I should of, better words, uh, put some of the stuff I found within this level. This level actually has some uh, pretty funny stuff uh, stitched into the walls. It's like telling a little story. Or its own little thing. It's pretty funny. Anyway, we will join back again at the end of the level to, uh, well, end this episode. We are back. And we did not get the thing. But, with all said and done, we've gotten the CD we needed. And I hope you guys have enjoyed like a little snippet within this level, because this is pretty funny. Shut up, Zeke. I'm trying to end the episode. In the next episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn, we are going to be going to the final level of Grasslands, Weird Woods, and we are going to be starting our the new world, Hotland. So, thank you, every, thank you so much for coming over. Let's give Kirby a little time to relax in his pad. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.